Okay, so now we have downloaded Zotero and I've opened up the program. So this is what it looked like. You'll have these uh, three columns and this middle column is every citation that you have imported. And the first column here is a list of the folders or collections um, that I have created. <clears throat> so you might want to create a folder or collection, they call it, um, for say each chapter that you're working on or however you want to organize it. So you just go up to this icon, new collection, and we're going to view a folder called DMIN test. Say okay. All right, so now this is open and it's empty. We haven't put anything in there yet. Um, my library, you can you can also drag things over to different folders, um, but we're going to um, keep that DMIN test folder open because it just makes it a little bit easier when you're importing. But you can always put items in to a folder. This third column is the citation information for each um, item. And we'll talk about this again later, but you want to make sure that the title is correct, that the um, all the words that need to be capitalized are capitalized because sometimes they don't always show up that way. So that's one thing you want to correct in this pane. That way it will be correct every time you use it. The other thing you want to look for is if there's a URL for a journal. McAfee style StyleGuide does not include these, so you just want to delete that and do it on this pane. Um, you can also put notes if you want to uh, write a note to yourself, or you can create additional tags if you want to search for certain articles. So let's see. So, okay. So those are the three panes in the program. We want to go up to edit and preferences and under this um, site tab right here, we want to select Chicago Manual of Style, the full note edition. So select that there and say, okay. And then one more time, we're going to go to edit and preferences and on the export tab, just make sure again, you've got Chicago 17th edition full note. And so I'm just going to click okay there. Okay. So that's what the program looks like. And so now we're going to look at importing citations into our folder DMIN test.